All right, in this demo, we are going to do the FTP inventory sync. But you can start by clicking in there. That was in the Discover tab there. We're gonna add that template, boom, boom. All right, here's where you're gonna put your FTP information in. All right, so in my case, I am grabbing that from here. Remember the port number, sometimes that's a little tricky. Also as FTP versus FTP. In my case, it's just FTP. Username, sometimes the username is a big complicated email looking thing. Sometimes it's just a username. That's one thing to keep an eye out for. And then of course the old password. All right, so we're gonna hit add credential. Next, it's gonna validate that. Uh, now we're gonna put in the name of the file. And so FileZilla is a free FTP client, it can be good to, to use for testing. But in my case, I've got a subdirectory here, a Kalen demo, and then I've got a file name in there. Oh, let me back up real quick. This is the template I'm using to generate this. It's just a Google Sheet, which you can use to generate a CSV file. You can download download as CSV. And uh, you'll notice that this also has some spaces in it, in the name, which is fine. Uh, but what you wanna do is you wanna copy in, and I would just copy these always, because uh, you know that they're, it's working if you're seeing it in FileZilla. And then I would just always be sure to copy everything as opposed to typing it in manually. As you can see, you don't want that, as you see in that uh, example there, you don't want any beginning slash in the beginning. So the way that it shows here with the slash, you don't want that, okay? So you wanna get rid of that. And then the thing here, if you do, if you right click and do rename, that'll give you a chance to just copy that. So you can copy it in, hit next, it's gonna validate that. You're gonna pick your location here. That's mapping over to the locations uh, in the inventory section. And hit next. And that looks good. So let's run a test first to check it out. Oh, it looks like it didn't save that in there. So you might have to click in that again. And this check for CSV file is, is checking. Ooh, interesting, interesting. Looks like it didn't work. Okay. All right, let's see what's going on. Let's troubleshoot. Let's troubleshoot. Oh, I put the host in wrong. <laughs> My bad, put the host in wrong. That's on me. That is on me, guys. But these are the types of things that can sometimes happen. Can get a little, can get a little wonky. And I think it's regular, good old fashioned FTP. So let's try that again. All right, cool. So once you see that, you know that it's pulling it in. We've got the first row of the CSV being these header columns. And then what I've got is I've got my SKUs and my available inventory levels. And uh, here's my inventory here in the back end. You can see these are currently set to 20s. And let's run the test. All right, looks like it ran. Let's refresh over here. All right, got those updated levels in there. So that's how she works. And you can find this either in the Discover tab, like I was showing you, or here on the website, the workflow templates. And if you need any help setting that up, let us know. We'd be happy to help.